Lexi, Lexi's about to, she about to air everybody out. This play is about to put everybody on the jumbotron. I got you, I got you. You on camera. You on candy camera now. You ain't know that. That's like, <laughs> she is about to put everybody on blast and I'm so ready. Like she's about to cause devastation. Not rule level devastation cause that girl was causing devastation citywide. But you know, Euphoria high wide, Lexi finna cause some devastation in there. Hey hi, hello YouTube, it's your boy Debbie Dubs and we are back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, we're here. Episode seven of season two of Euphoria and you know, last week was one of the more calm episodes. Aside from Nate being completely unhinged, last week's episode was on the more calm side. The ending was a little scary though. Mama Bennett was talking to one of the rehab facilities and they were basically denying Rue's entrance, which still confuses me. Like, how could you ever say, maybe they were full, I guess? I don't know, but I'm still confused how you could ever turn someone away who needs help. We here. Make sure you follow me on my social medias. They're right here and linked down in the description below. Um, like this video, subscribe, share with your friends, and then click the notification bell, of course. And before we get started, I say this because I want to help y'all out. If you want to watch this show called Big Gloria on ACO Max, not Euphoria on HBO Max. Come on, guys. It's Big Gloria on ACO Max. Completely different show, completely different streaming platform. If you want to watch the full unedited episodes without having to pay for an ACO Max subscription, because you got Paramount Plus, uh, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, like you got so many different platforms now, you might not want to pay for ACO Max. So if you want to watch Big Gloria for the Lolo, you can go to my Patreon and watch a full unedited episode. The only thing is you're going to see my face down in the corner. But besides that, you get the full episode, literally for $4.99. So, think about it. Here we go with Season 2, Episode 7. Let's get right into it. Lex is getting her own episode. Like, I'm so geeked. Oh, what if this entire episode is, like, the entire hour-long episode is the play? Oh, that'll be so sick. Is this the funeral? Because I see Gia sitting down. Is Lou in her room? Yeah. She hasn't opened the door. Do you think she's okay? Don't just stand here and gossip. It's rude. Right. <laughs> I gotta remind myself that this is the past. These are my dad. My dang, girl. Quiet friend who has come so far. Feel how your breathing makes more space around you. Oh, she out of it. Need to change. What is it like? Such intensity oh, of pain. I'm so slow. This is a set. Is bitter. Like I wonder how these characters the will feel seeing themselves on stage. Because I know and Lexi ain't asked for permission. I flow to the rushing water. Speak. I am. This a new hairstyle. Her hair in a pony. You see what happened when you get clean? You switch it up. Oh, they still ain't talking. Damn, I forgot. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, she's literally throwing shots already. Just putting her entire life on display like that. Every time I feel like Lexi is throwing shots, I'm gonna do this. There were five of us. She's so cute. There was me, Grace, my sister, Holly, her best friend, Marta. Just gotta be strong, just stop. Yeah. Cause I Wait, I've been forgetting the brr. 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 Okay. Friend Luna. Thank you. Look at my heart and my best friend Jade. Brr. She's Bring so cute. Bring out the letters now. A uh, please. And this is life. Good for Ethan. He got the part. Not everyone's life. But our life. Wait, is this fucking play about us? Blindsided, I love it. Now it would have been cool if the font on Euphoria, the R would have fell, just like the person holding the R dropped it. Well, would you be upset by it? Depends on the play. 
Right. And what right. you include in it, Lexi. But I want her to piss everybody off, kind of. What happens if Cassie sees the play and thinks I'm being Girl, go to your room. Is she in a public area trying well, to how about be quiet don't around her mom? No. I have got to put on a play right now. What? Like, there's an entire audience waiting for me to continue talking. Where? Wait, why she got Cassie's mannerisms though? Like they sound alike. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> see the you. see the mom gets it. Like the mom face. gets it. Sus, I love that the moms are getting scream t scream screen time this season. Marsha, Suze, Mama Bennett. I don't know her name. I'm so bad. Sorry. Uh, but they got screen time this season and. So far, Suze is my favorite. Like, I know she an alcoholic, functioning alcoholic, but she's so fun. Like, so far, everybody else has been, like, shocked at seeing themselves, and the mom is like, yes, that's me, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Like, she's not even mad that her character's being played by a man. I feel like a big baby. I've been on this planet for 38 goddamn years, and I have never seen a baby with knockers like yours. <laughs> Who's she looking at? Oh. Period, Sue. Yeah. Oh, they just out in public. Everything. Just kissing and smooching. Yo, eyes, get the door, man. Ooh, that's gonna give me anxiety. Going back and forth between Fez's scenes and the play. Are you crying? <laughs> the directorial note, you just take it and move on, okay? The light cues to be 40% faster and the stage hands to be 20% faster. Oh, Help period. Me. She knows what she, what she wants. What the? Did someone die in this dress? It smells like shit. <sighs> She's such a boss right now. Very hands-on. I love the theater. Ooh, bless your heart. Don't do it, Faye. Nah, I really do appreciate you doing that, though. Faye, I like you so far. Where you going? Don't worry about what I'm doing, man. Worry about yourself. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna just chill then. I don't know. I think I should need to hit him in the nose again. Maybe Faye's allegiance has changed. I could see myself now. She's hot. I'd be the I mean, she always is, but... No one ever could get. Hi. <laughs> I really wish I'd bone Lexi Howard. Yeah, you and the rest of East Island. <laughs> All I had to do was wait. Oh, that scene was sick. That entire scene and set in her wardrobe was sick. With the sliding, mm-hmm. Lexi, some guys prefer smaller boobs. Yeah. I mean, if you and I could trade bodies, I'd best, I'd oh, they finna. Right Sick transition. Going. Okay, cause I'm I'm really slow when it comes to scenes being split up between like real care. Like I'm just I'm bad sometimes, so I'm have to really hone in and re recognize that it's the play, but they're using real characters while also using the actor characters as well. Cause that transition between the real Cassie to the fake Cassie was almost got me, but I I, I caught it. To be honest, I'm not really the kind of person who wants to be known for their body. Jesus! <laughs> she looks sick. But I was just not expecting her chesticles to be out like that. Of course I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be sitting in the front row, Shuddy. <laughs> Shuddy. I promise you that. going on I'm liking these backstory scenes but is this also happening in the play like are they showing this in the play as well or are we jumping from play to flashbacks to Fez oh okay it is happening we need to be cooler Jade was the first person who made me feel okay about not being cool lights 10 go I just feel like in 10 years, technology is going to get really scary and... 
Let this darkness be a bell tower. Who is Jules sitting with? Bell. She by herself? Do you ever worry as you get older? You'll have less and less memories of dad. I want more scenes between these two. My life will be in your keeping, waking, sleeping, laughing, weeping longer. I like happy scenes. We don't get enough of these, I fear. Like truly happy scenes. Not one glimpse of happiness and then everything goes to crap. Uh -huh. I try to say. <laughs> Here we go, one is coming. They better have a, a, a play Nate. I don't think there's anything more beautiful than dedicating your life to loving someone. I was gonna say, the way he's styling her I thought he was trying to dress her like Maddie for a second. I don't know if I want to do this. It's just weed. It's not heroin. Oh, brother. But at any moment, something Where are you, Bez? Hey. Come here. Like you're going to be sneaky in his house? Like you're going to be grimy inside his own house? Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah. Get your hammer out, little buddy. It's time to go to work. It's a hammer ten. <laughs> Y'all remember his Superman? Hi. Or no tie. Oh, like he genuinely trusts her and likes her now. You okay. Um. You got her looking like that that white guy with the afro. You be painting on TV. <laughs> Not her Halloween costume. Bobby, Bobby, it's a fire. We got, it's we a got fire. Go. Come on, come go. on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I like weed. I just can't control my brain the same way I normally can. Yeah, but that's like the best part. I was just about to say, they are completely opposites when it comes to that sentence. I think Jade used drugs to push away all the bad thoughts, but it did the opposite for me. All I could think about were the bad thoughts. The things he got wrong, flowers for her? The people I could lose. Oh my god. A and one reason. Be my turn! That's why I'm not good enough. It's so sweet you got flowers for her. <laughs> oh, they finally made eye contact. Jules and I hadn't spoken since that bullshit intervention. Even though I see her around. I give up. Hey. You wanna kill yourself doing drugs? Go ahead. I'm not gonna stand in your way. What's the time period of this? So I can do drugs. Yeah. If you wanna fry every last brain cell in your head, go ahead. <laughs> what? What? That's exciting to you, huh? Being a crackhead? I just feel like there's a catch here. I need I to know the time period of this scene. You'll be 18 soon and out of my house. And you're gonna make whatever decisions you're gonna make. Is this after that phone call where they turned Rue down? She said she's almost 18, so it's recent. I need to know. Been in detention three times in the past two weeks. And every morning when I go into her room to make sure she's awake, she already up on the phone. I didn't know any of that. Why would you? You only ever think about yourself. Blue, I was waiting for that. It's not true, Mom. If I have to choose between losing one daughter or two, I'm gonna fight to save her. That was sad. I didn't like that. They became inseparable. Oh, it's gonna get juicy. Okay, this is nice, but actually go to the real scenes. I wanna see Cassie and Maddie do this for real. It just occurred to me that these are their classmates, so they know these characters in real life that are playing them. 
until her parents started fighting all the time. The and she disgust. basically moved in with us for a few months. Do you like it? I feel stupid. What? Everyone feels stupid. Who cares? You feel stupid? Yeah, I did. And then I just chose not to feel stupid. Solid. Hey, okay, I'm not running a brothel here, all right, girls? It's time for bed. <laughs> it's supposed to be me. <laughs> yeah, it's Love her. Oh, 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 Open oh. Open the fucking door, Cassie. Oh, not to you hiding behind Open the door. Open the door and tell me it was worth it. You owe me that. She's not gonna be her ass. What kind of fucking friend are you? What the fuck? This isn't about Damn, me. Damn, she ran upstairs and hid. And, and our friendship, and if you want to throw it away, then fine. Because I don't want to be fucking friends with you. Open the wow. Door, open the fucking door. This literally open parallels that New Year's Eve party, but the only people that know who was on the other side of the first door is us, the audience. I'm trying to sound so deep right now when all I need to say is we know that Cassie was also in the bathroom with Nate, but Maddie doesn't know that. But now Maddie is banging on doors again with Cassie on the other side of the door and she knows at this time, but she knows the truth, but she still didn't put it together that it was Nate and Cassie at the New Year's party, which I don't think she'll ever find out. Like, I don't know how they would ever do that, how they would ever figure that out. Also, I remember a lot of people thought that she was gonna be in Nate's truck and find those panties, but I guess that's not happening either. I don't know, I just like the parallel between this bathroom scene and the first bathroom scene. She looked fly. I ain't gonna lie. Your straight blonde hair. What in the unhinged? Oh, she back to it now that she ain't with Ethan. These scenes are beautiful, gorgeous, top tier. I really feel like Cassie be getting the best looking scenes. They haven't cut to Fez in a while. Mmm, that's jewels. Why did they have Cassie? No, 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 no. Oh, that was scary. That was really scary. How many people were scared? Me too. I was really, really scared. Simple would have done the trick. Others. Nah, because why would they include that scene? People did speculate that the conversation between Marsha and Nate in the previous episode, when she said that he just darkened around eight or nine, I thought it was because he was coming to terms with his maybe sexuality as a young boy, but some people said that something much darker and scarier happened between Nate and his dad, which I hope that's not the case. <clears throat> Cal is unhinged, but he's not. See, and I'm good, and I don't like this because it sounds like I'm defending this man because he literally secretly recorded people. Part of me, I'm just gonna be honest, part of me thinks that he would not do that to his own son, to his own child. He's unhinged, but I don't think he's that unhinged. Very dark sided. I hope that's not the case. But what was the significance of that scene? Like, that's so to random to just put him having a nightmare like that in there. I got you something. Back to what? this you camera. Didn't have to. I know. Remember the camera in the mom's Something dressing room? Enjoy it. Okay. So Theo's mom is a good person. She understands, even though Maddie crossed boundaries, she definitely crossed boundaries. She didn't steal anything. She would just try it on and then put it back. <laughs> okay, Bobby. If Mick fucks up another light cue, I'm gonna fucking kill him. Oh my God. He says sorry. Girl gone, don't be backstage Tell messing stuff up. Blind three-year-olds could do a better job than you. Oh my God. Get it, yo, know what's up. 
Yeah, they all know what's up. Be a man rolling up. And my dream gold is up. Oh, he got the Nate scar. What is that from? Because even the real Nate in the audience has that same scar as of right now. Did Fez give it to him? Has he always had it? I don't know. I'm scared. You guys are so gay. <laughs> Did this boy just upgrade from a hammer to a blade? He's so scary. <laughs> I've never been more scared of a 12 year old. Yo, you think, uh, you think other people think that I look handsome? They do. Come on, Faye. Do the right thing. It's so scary. Like, don't play it. Like, they're not being casual at all. Obviously, they're being suspicious. All right, then, y'all. I'm finna head out. Go, go, make it out. Go, get out, hurry. Is everything good? No, don't worry about it, just go. All right. Man. Woo! Alright. They all Tired. know. They all look at him. Hey, Paula, could you rub a smidgen of oil on my back? I can't reach my pecs again too <laughs> freaking big. Anything for you, Jake. Hey, Jake, your body's fantastic. Can I help? <laughs> Oh my God, he might attack Ethan. He might attack Lexi. She real bold. <laughs> as awkward as it is for Nate, it is a Thick number. Like they putting in work. Hey. Come on, Ethan, hit it. Hit that. Lexi, you're a fucking G. <laughs> Let's go, Lexi. Oh, see, getting up and storming out just makes it even more awkward. You can't let them know that you're upset. But it's Nate, so I don't care. Bruh, come on, yes. So good, right? She's brilliant. Lexi's brilliant. Mm hmm. Oh no, he might hit her. Why the fuck are they Nate. laughing? That shit is so fucking homophobic. Hey, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Like, She's your fucking sister. No, you I, want to pack your shit the fuck no, out of my house? I'm fucking done. Now she breathing like a dragon. What's she finna do? Hide in the bathroom? I'm starting to feel like a dungeon dragon. Raw, raw, like a dungeon dragon. Why would he? Why would he? No, why would he? Do that! Oh my God! Uh, no! Wow. Lexi! That play was brilliant. Standing ovation. Lexi, the main character, did what she had to do. I'm, I'm actually really excited for part two because I want to see Nate's reaction, Cassie's reaction. Rue was getting, everybody who don't like Nate, they was getting lit. They was getting their life up in there. I don't know, I like seeing Nate salty like that. Like, like, he, like I feel like he rarely gets salty. He rarely lose, which is a very unlikable thing about him. The only time I feel like he's ever gotten his comeuppance was when Fez tapped him. But besides that, I feel like he always getting his way. He always been manipulative. He always getting the upper hand on people. So I like moments where like he's like bitch made, made down to size. And Lexi of all people is the one that just handed his ass to him on a silver platter, embarrassed him. Now, if you want to call that homophobic, mm, I think it was just light fun, fun spirited. I don't. Mm.
Mm, to each their own. <laughs> that's what he had coming to him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In a way, was he kind of outed? I don't know. That's a debate that could be had. Yeah, I'm so geeked for part two. I hope that Rue and Jules can reconcile. Um, I'm not saying they have to date and make up and make out, but just at least be on not negative terms. Elliot was there. What is Elliot's thing? Like, what's his what's his end game? I'm ready for this. This is all. Hopefully, it's all gonna be talked about in the finale. We don't know what Faye and her boyfriend is planning. We don't know what Elliot is up to. We don't know what Cassie or Nate what they're gonna do. Cause Cassie, she's crazier. And then hides in bathrooms. But you know, she was looking through the the theater doors like she was finna do something. I hope that this. Finale doesn't end up in a school, you know what? I can't, I wouldn't be able to take that. I can't do a school, you know what? Hope Ashtray and Fez make it out of whatever it is that's being plotted against them. Yeah, this was, Lexi, I, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Lexi sprayed, she sprayed. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Follow me on my social medias there, right here, and link down in the description below. Subscribe, if you haven't subscribed yet, mm -hmm, give me that subscription. Give it to me, mm -hmm, give mm -hmm, it to me, mm -hmm. give it to me, give it to like, me. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and then take it a step further and click that notification bell so you are always notified when I post brand new videos. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.